CFA International Youth Football Tournament Jiangyan 20,181st Match vs U-17 Iran National Team Wednesday the 16th of May Kickoff 1600 Playing Time 90 Minutes 45 minutes times 2, Jiangyan Sports Center Stadium, China PR, U16 Japan National Team 1-0, 0-0, 1-0, U17 Iran National Team scores 72, Yamane Riku, U16 Japan National Team, starting line, UPSGK, Sasaki Masatad, Sumi Koshiro, Handariku, Seiko Maya, IBI Shantam, Yamauchi Kakaru, NARUOKA Hikaru, Aoshi Makenta, Mito Shansuke FW, Nakano Keita, Nishikawa Jun Reserve, Gick, Nazawa Taishi Brandon DF, Suzuki Kato, Iwasaki Mana, Nagata Yuri, Nakano Shinyam, Yokoka Asahi, Sutoh Naoki, Yamai Raiku, Saki Shinasuke, Toyama Shoji, Shimokawa Haruki Substitution Seoshi Makenta Toyama Shoji 54, Naru Oka Hikaru Yamane Riku 63, Yamauchi Kakeru Yokoka Asahi 63, Ibi Shunto Nakano Shinya 81, Mito Shansuke Saki Shinasuke 81, Sumi Koshiro Suzuki Kato Match Report The U16 Japan national team arrived in China on Sunday the 13th of May to compete in the CFA International Youth Football Tournament Jiangyan 2018. The team held five training sessions to prepare ahead of the competition including the official training session at the match venue held the day before of the match. On Wednesday, the 16th of May, Japan bested the U-17 Iran national team 1-0 to open the tournament with a victory. Before sending his players off to the pitch, coach Moriyama stressed the importance of how they enter a match or a tournament. Facing an Iranian side who were anticipating to counter-attack, Japan controlled the match by keeping possession of the ball. The Japanese center have initiated the build-ups, as they managed to connect good passes to their attacking third, but lacked quality in their final touches to score the opener. Conversely, the Iranian side threatened the Japanese goal by sending passes behind the defensive line. Just before the end of the first half, Japanese midfielder Mito Shansuke delivered a pass towards Nishikawa Jun, who launched a shot with his left foot. but his shot was denied by a fine save made by the opposing goalkeeper, ending the half scoreless. The match remained scoreless deep into the second half, but the deadlock was broken in the 72nd minute, when Nishikawa earned a free kick in the attacking half. Substitute midfielder Yamane Riku attempted a direct shot from the spot kick which the Iranian goalkeeper was able to get a hand on the ball, but the shot carried enough momentum to find the net. Following their opening goal, Japan continued to attack strongly, but their efforts came short from extending the lead. In the 86th minute, forward Nakano Keita delivered a shot from a free kick earned by his fellow forward Toyama Shoji, but his attempt was denied by the goalpost. Iran came close to leveling the match as they broke through to create an one-on-one -on -one situation but the Japanese goalkeeper Sasaki Masato made a superb save to keep the one-goal lead intact. With Japan keeping a clean sheet, the match ended with a final score of 1-0. Japan earned a very valuable clean sheet victory, but the match exposed many flaws as well. Japan will now face the U-17 Kyrgyz Republic national team on Friday, the 18th of May. Players comments DF Our opponents stayed deep in their half to play defense which allowed us to keep possession of the ball, but we struggled to finish with a shot. made many mistakes in the first half, which gave opportunities for our opponents to counter-attack, but our goalkeeper and defense played well to keep a clean sheet. We managed to score from a free kick, but we were unorganized in the closing minutes of the game, so we must be able to close out the match better in our second match. MF
I personally felt the need to be able to adapt to pitch conditions like today, and make good decisions within the given circumstances. We kept good communication among ourselves on the pitch but we can still deepen our combinations by playing more matches together. We would like to win the remaining two matches and win the title so that we can improve ourselves both as a team and as an individual. MF We entered the match in a great fashion and kept our possession in the opposing end. But we couldn't execute the final pass or shot to score goals, so we must improve our quality in the final third. It is about the little things, but those little things can decide the match in the future, so we must not take it for granted. We managed to score in a timely fashion and win the match today, but we must not forget what we lack today and prepare well ahead of the second match. Schedule CFA International Youth Football Tournament Jiangyan 2018 Wednesday the 16th of May 1-0 First match versus U-17 Iran National Team Jiangyan Sports Center Stadium Thursday the 17th of May PM Training Fry The 18th of May 1935 Second match versus U-17 Kyrgyz Republic National Team Jiangyan Sports Center Stadium Sat The 19th of May TBC Training Sunday, the 20th of May 1935 Third Match versus U-17 China PR National Team Jiangyan Sports Center Stadium Local time The schedule is subject to change due to the team condition, the weather, etc.